Saturn SA6 was launched on May 28, 1964 at 5.07 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 37B at Cape Canaveral. It was also known as AS-101 because it carried the first boilerplate Apollo Command Module to orbit. The boilerplate simulated the shape of the Apollo Command and Service Module as well as the Launch Escape Tower, but had a mass of only 7.7 .7 tons, far less than the real CSM assembly with a dry mass of 11.9 tons, but more than just the mass of the full Command Module, which comes in at 5.56 tons. Contrary to what will be shown in the video, the launch escape tower was a dummy and did not separate from the vehicle. The boilerplate CSM also did not separate from the Saturn One's second stage, as is correctly depicted. The main goal of the mission was to test the aerodynamics of the CSM, but eight cameras also recorded pad operations and staging, and these were ejected from the first stage and recovered. Coming only a month and a few weeks from the test of a boilerplate Gemini spacecraft on the first orbital Titan rocket, this launch highlights the extent to which the development of Gemini and Apollo actually happened in parallel, for better or for worse. This was obviously necessary to meet the goal of reaching the moon by the end of the decade, but it had its drawbacks in terms of implementing lessons learned from Gemini. But Gemini was more about practicing the techniques necessary for the moon mission, EVA, rendezvous, docking, and other crew operations, which required the attention of astronauts, while Apollo had a lot more uncrewed hardware testing to cover before it required astronauts to be involved. The flight was not entirely smooth as Engine 8 shut down prematurely 1 minute and 56 seconds into the flight due to the turbo pump fault, but this did not delay the program because the turbo pump was due to be upgraded anyway and the problematic part was going to be swapped out. Also, an engine out scenario was deliberately tested on the SA-4 mission, a suborbital flight, and so the programming was properly prepared to compensate and brought the mission into very nearly the target orbit. That low orbit of 200 km by 179 km ensured a quick deorbiting. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Saturn SA-6.